Conditional formatting is basically taking a field and saying that I want it to change colors or to apply some sort of formatting based upon a condition that the field meets. For example, like price, anything over $40, I want it to be in red, bold, with a blue background to let the people know who are entering in this information that extra shipping charges are going to apply. So to apply conditional formatting, let's say to the price field, I'm going to right click and go to the design view and you can see that this is a subform within the main form so I'm going to come down in here and click on the price each field and then come up here on the design tab to the font group and click on the conditional button now the field value is got to be something that is let's say greater than or equal to and then come over here in the actual field value we'll say 40 now if it's equal to or greater than 40 let's apply some sort of condition we'll make it bold and you can see the conditions the preview window here we'll make it red and then we'll do a fill color, something a little bit light blue. Well, it doesn't look as good. Maybe we can choose another color, something light pink. Looks a little bit better. And that's it. When I'm finished, just click OK. Click on the view to change views back to the form, and then toggle through my records. There we go. That's over $40, so it flags me in red. These are over $40, so it flags me. OK, shipping charges. Now another option is is that if you want to flag them even more so, in other words have the color or the conditional formatting apply to other fields based upon the value in this field, you can write an expression. That way they can't miss it if almost the whole row is in red. So for example, I'm going to right click and go back to the design view. And in the subform, I'm going to click on the product text box and then come up here and click on the conditional button. And it's not a field value because the value isn't what we're looking at for the product. It's going to be a value in the price each field. So what we want to do is change this to an expression. And the expression we're going to write out here by defining the field that we want to set it for. So for example, we're going to have it look in the forms. Again, we're setting up the address. Type in forms, exclamation point, or the operator symbol there. So it's going to go to the forms group here in the navigation pane. and then. What form in the navigation pane? Well, let's do open square bracket, FRM, and we're going to spell it out. It's going to be the forms category here. Close square brackets, then again the operator symbol or the exclamation point, and then open square brackets. Now it's going to the form categories, but what's within the form? It's a subform, so we have to say come in F sub, and I'm spelling it just like you see it down below here. F sub products, that's the form, the subform within the main form, so F sub and then close square bracket again the exclamation point open square bracket and then the actual field which is price space EA for each close square bracket and then we're going to put in the greater than symbol by holding down the shift key and hitting the period and it's greater than or equal to and type in 40 and then of course our conditions we can put it in bold we can do red we can do different colors you don't have to have it light pink here maybe something a little bit orangey and then click OK now let's take it for a test drive to see if this works. Click on the View button. Let's go to the next record. There we go. So again, the condition is based upon the price each field, but it's applying to, well, we could have it apply to all the fields here. But for this example here, product should be sufficient. So you know what to use, the expression formula. So you can tie it by typing in the expression back to the price field for the condition to pull to, in this case, the product field. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.